even wars have laws. And 30 days since Russia's invasion, there is so much for lawyers to consider. The schools, the hospitals, the apartment blocks hit, the hundreds of civilians killed. Now it's for the International Criminal Court to investigate, under the guidance of the British lawyer who leads it. Good morning, Mr. Hunt. But only one side in this conflict has acknowledged his requests to cooperate. I've uh, already uh, reached out to the Russian Federation and I've also reached out to the Ukrainians. Uh, I've been to Ukraine, I've spoken to the, uh, the, the president and the foreign minister. What has the response from the Russian Federation been so far? Uh, at the moment, no response, but I'll keep trying. Is that surprising? I, I, I won't comment on it if it's surprising or not. My, my job is one of good faith and good uh, of endeavour and to come with clean hands without any political um, agenda. Less than a year into his tenure, this investigation provides the best hope for those who wish to see Vladimir Putin stand trial in the future. Now I'm at the opening of an investigation, so I don't rush to judgment. Uh, what I've stated in terms of the evaluation since 2014, uh, the analysis that's taken place, is that there's reasonable grounds to believe that crimes within the jurisdiction of the court uh, have been committed. And really it's a matter of huge shame on the human species um, that as we send rockets uh, to, to Mars, uh, rovers to Mars, um, our brothers and sisters in different parts of the world, not just Ukraine, live with this fear, this uncertainty of what tomorrow will bring and it is obscene. I, I think we should uh, interview you and get some of your footage and then assess it. And I think this is our job. You know, you, the journalists, uh, those out there, uh, first responders have a bird's eye view. And you've got to go through the steps. And then you get to the solid core of a case that is sufficient then to move on and action as a prosecutor. This isn't something that will um, be done in a, an ITV news cycle. It's something that uh, we have to have the staying power to realize that we're, we're battling for the rule of law and the law has to prevail. If we fail here, Collectively, uh, one will wonder what does the future hold. The crucial roles are played by two presidents, but it's a prosecutor who may decide where accountability in this conflict should lie. Rohit Katru, News at 10, Kyiv.